In this video, I'll show you how to use PaintX to clone out part of an image. It's a simple example and doesn't even need any tracking. To start, find the C2 PaintX category of effects, then drag Tracked Paint onto a clip. Press the Open Editor button in the inspector, and you'll be taken to a full screen interface. At the top of the screen, you can choose a tool to work with. I'll select Clone. To the left, you can change the size, softness, and other properties of the brush you'll be working with, and you should set these options before you start painting. To clone, just like in Adobe Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you option click where you want to clone from, like this clean area of sky, then release option and paint nearby, over these power lines, where you want the clone to be placed. You can paint repeatedly until you've covered everything, and if you run out of clean source material in the area you're cloning from, you can just option click again to set a new source, then paint some more. If you find you've gone too far, or the soft edge of a brush has painted over an area you wanted to keep, you can use this erase brush to get rid of it. I'll make the brush much harder, then paint along this area here, to recover the top of the bridge. All the brush strokes I've added during this process are saved and recorded and can be edited. Their offsets, size and softness can all be changed. Now that I'm done, I'll press Save Changes and you'll see that my new paint is in place on the clip in the timeline and I can play it in real time. PaintX is available now from Cormelt.com, and there's a free trial too. Thanks for watching.